Hello everyone and welcome back to Neko Jishi. Last time we were here, Liao got insecure because who wouldn't? When you're the only one who can see a bunch of sexy, furry men and... It's just like, is it the stress? Am I hallucinating because of stress? So it's Friday already, huh? Liao! What? What is it? What's wrong? Senpai jumped out of nowhere with intense determination, almost shocking the living daylights out of me. Yeah, let's go to the hot springs this weekend. Eh, hot springs? Mm-hmm. Hasn't it been super cold recently? It's the perfect time to enjoy a nice warm hot spring. Soaking yourself in hot water, munging on some snacks. It's the best thing in winter. Now that you mention it, I've never been to a hot spring before. By the way, isn't that expensive? Eh, it's not cheap, but it's only the cost of like one or two dinners at, out at most. Do you think I am loaded? It totally do it like once a month. It? I'd? I totally do it like once a month. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> the price of one or two dinners? I already spent heaps on books and things this month. I don't think I've got any more money to squeeze out of my budget. And I have to feed you guys? <sighs> oh no, the stress is coming back. Don't you want to go? Well, really no. You only see it in anime and wouldn't we be bathing with a bunch of strangers? Uh, I don't really want to be in the same water as that. That's kind of gross. And then a pretty girl shows up all of a sudden. <laughs> Stop talking about anime plots. Besides, mixed gender hot springs are super rare these days. Actually, they're usually separated by gender, though you can get public springs which have a bunch of strangers together. Wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be sexy? But that's no fun when we enjoy when we can enjoy a private bath with each other. Hmm. Together. Naked. It's a small room with a big bath inside, it'd be all ours. Six feet apart because we're not gay. I'd highly recommend it to you, to you freshmen. Private bath? Uh, wouldn't that be even more expensive than the pub public baths? Well, yeah, but it's on me. You won't have to spend a cent. Well, if you're gonna be paying, then how could I say no? Really? But I don't want you to waste your money. I mean, it's only like two dinners out, like I said. Just don't think about it. Accept my generosity. Accept the opportunity. Yeah, but... I don't really like you, to be honest. What I really want to say was that's Yansu Chi's money, not yours. Come on, I said it's okay. You're not going to disrespect your senpai, right? Alright, fine. Let's go for it. I keep forgetting that you're possessing somebody. I feel really bad now. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit strange, but I couldn't refuse him. He really wants this. In what feels like barely a second, Senpai is already on his phone looking up the hot spring for this weekend. Sorry, Yansuchi. Gonna use your money. But don't worry about it. Benefits that you can't enjoy. <laughs> the next morning, we take off in a bus heading to the depths of the mountains. Eventually, we arrive at the old street village surrounding the hot springs. Wow, there's a lot of people here. It doesn't appear vastly different from the main street back home. Many people. Oh, so you've never been here, Liao? Nope, I'm from the south, so I've never had a need to. Really? But this place is famous! You've been in Taipei for more than half a year now, and you haven't gone sightseeing at all? I have no money. How many times do I have to say that? Aw, oh, you pork is shut up! I will hit you. You don't need to call me kid, senpai. Well then, let me, your wonderful senpai, introduce this place to you. Now where should we start? Alrighty. Did you notice how we drove beside a creek on the way up here? Since there's heaps of natural hot springs here, a bunch of them are directly connected to the creek. 
So basically, the creek itself is warm by the springs, though I've never had a chance to feel it personally. I've even heard there's a bunch of private baths nearby. Most of the houses behind these merchants are here probably have them. You know, I wonder what I wonder what came first: people finding the hot springs or people building the old the old street. Besides. I don't think it'd be a great idea just to go in the creek water. Some people do it because it's free, but it's probably not the best idea. Now then, enough of the boring stuff. Our destination is over there, let's go! Senpai hurries me along the street enthusiastically. The other two walk behind us. A lot of these wares seem quite familiar. I look around. Preserved plums, roasted corn, almond tea, mochi, and so on. It's pretty typical for a market street, like the one from back at home. Though a few special things do catch my eyes, for example. There's some wild boar sausages. Leopard is currently staring at them. Liao, we should get this. Tiger's drawn towards the roast suckling pig, which has been prepared into tiny meat cubes right at the shop. Nah, we should wait to buy food until after our bath. I could do with a snack, but considering I have to eat whatever Tiger and Leopard want to, I suddenly feel super duper full again. Senpai's right. We might as well go to the hot spring first. Alright? Come on, guys. Let's get there already. I end up needing to push Tiger and Leopard to pry them away from the food and get to the- and get moving. Luckily, there's heaps of people around and I don't stand out doing so even if I am pushing mid-air. Hey, over here! Senpai runs into a nearby building. The building itself resembles a traditional Japanese inn. He walks to the counter, handing two book slips to the receptionist. Huh? So Senpai already had everything booked online and printed? I didn't even notice. He's more on top of things than I thought. The receptionist finishes booking us in and we're led to our bathroom. At first glance, the bathroom is big. A marble pool takes center point while its water steams from the hot spring towards the back of the room. Toward my feet, near the entrance, is a small resting area. Even after several more glances, I'm still astonished by its size and grandeur. Oh, upscale. Lavish. Why does it feel like they're scolding me? It's not like this was my choice. I've seen pictures of, like, luxury hot springs and they're- Oh my god, they are so nice looking! I want to go into one? Just for the experience, but not, not a public one. The staff member shows us where to find some robes, towels, and drinking water, then they remind us of the time limit, wish us to enjoy our time, and leave us be. I think I missed some of that. Alright, Liao, the, t the clock's ticking, so let's get started. You can store your clothes here and your robe is hanging over there. I don't normally use the slippers, but you can use them if you want. People sweat a lot from the heat in here, so even though you're in water, don't forget to drink. Got it, Liao? You seem like quite the regular customer. I love hot springs after all. I wouldn't recommend any less than the best for you, Liao. But this place seems expensive. I don't know anything about hot springs, but I know this room can't be cheap. Do not think about it. Don't think about it. Don't worry about it. I had some discount vouchers, so it wasn't that expensive. It's a great chance to host you somewhere nice. R really? I'm still uneasy about this. Is it okay to just let Senpai pay for the bill? Liao, I told you it's fine. Anyways, isn't it cool that we get to have four people in here with only two tickets? Four? Oh, oh yeah. There's us as well as, as, as well as Tiger and Leopard. But should they really be considered as people? I agree. It's quite the deal. Heh. <laughs> I knew the old man would see reason. Anyway, come on! Let's stop wasting time talking! Take off your clothes, Liao! What? What? You gonna get in with all those clothes on or something? Did you even notice the shower over there? Hot spring rule number one. Clean yourself before stepping into the spring. Uh, I know, but... I know this is pretty normal at hot springs, but this is way too embarrassing. I forgot. I forgot that I had to get naked. Uh, uh senpai should go first. Hmm? Sure, no problem, I'll just... 
Senpai turns on the faucet, the bath beginning to fill. Next, he starts to remove his clothes then, then and there. Well, uh, it was so sudden I didn't get a chance to walk away or give him space. Can't just keep staring at his naked body. I turned my head away in a meager attempt to restore Senpai's privacy. Leah, what are you doing? You must take a shower sooner rather than later. Yeah, I know. Why is why is that his business all of a sudden? Just turn around. All right. What a timid child. Shut up. I send a sharp look around the room, making sure nobody is watching me. The sound of Senpai's shower patters on the floor as I begin to remove my clothes. I try to get it done quickly, but once my clothes are off, the patter of the other shower ceases. I turn my head to look, but I don't see Senpai. Right here, Liao! Senpai's already shoulder deep in the freshly steaming bath. Water is ready, Liao. Hurry up! Please, don't keep staring at me, Senpai. Okay, okay, you're so shy, Liao. Senpai looks somewhere else for a moment. I turn my shower on her and hurriedly wash myself. Now all that's left is to slip into the bath. Hot. Careful. Ah! It's a warning too late. I retreat almost as fast as I went in. The heat was more than I had anticipated. Be careful, Liao. You gotta get into the bath slowly and let your body get used to the temperature. That'd be great, but I don't want these three staring at me the whole time. I got my, my dick out. My ass out. Just stop. I'm getting nervous. I take a deep breath and ease down into the steamy water. Wow, that's awesome. I sit in the water, suffering through the burning feeling taking over my whole body. Are people supposed to think this is relaxing? Li Gulao, old man, come on in. Even if you guys don't have bodies, you can still enjoy the atmosphere. Well, let me see. The water really is rather hot. Tiger put a paw on the water, as if he wasn't in, as if he wasn't in there. The water refuses to ripple at all. Leopard just shoves his entire arm into the water, grimacing from the heat. Ah, uh, so hot. Well, it's gonna hurt if you get in too fast. Though you'll feel really good once you're used to it. Why do I feel like you're implying something? I'd say you're the one with the impure mind here. Damn it, you're the one who said it, senpai. What? <laughs> Just went over my head. <laughs> Alright, I'll try this hot spring. Um, what about your clothes, though? Easy, and just snap of, snap of his fingers, just... Whoosh. I mean, sure, Tiger's clothes aren't real, but it'd still be strange to see him wearing them underwater. However, as soon as he fully submerges himself, his clothes disappear in a blink of an eye. What? Well, where are your clothes? Hmm? I took off my garments. You wouldn't bathe with them on, would you? Yeah, I mean, so you can make your clothes disappear? Well, of course. As you know, a god doesn't have any fixed appearance. So you can do that any time? Correct. However, I consider my regular garments a part of my official appearance. Okay, so gods can change their clothes. That's pretty cool. Don't even have to pay for clothes you just see the entire outfit and you're just like I want to wear that and boom you're wearing it talking about gods and their clothes leopard just stepped into the water whoa <laughs> look at his little butt is my mouse no my mouse isn't sure look at his little butt <laughs> just floated above the water I gotta say, this is a fantastic view. Leopard's just sitting, just standing there, the steam rising around his well-defined body. My heart pounds as I see the reflection of his V-line mirrored on the surface of the misty hot spring water. The yow, avert your eyes. If you didn't want them looking at you, you gotta show them the same courtesy. Tiger rests his back against the bath wall. The towering form of his rugged, handsome body contrasts well with the serene space steeped in tradition. Meanwhile, Senpai is trying to swim in the bath, his lithe body exposed under the rippling, steaming water. This is so tempting. Oh, you okay there? You having difficulty with something? 
Wh what are you talking about? Shut up, Senpai. Heh, <laughs> don't be shy. Let me check it out. Senpai attempts to feel me up under the water, and I dodge him as swiftly as I can manage in, in a steaming hot bath. Hey, cut it out! Hmm, I just want to check. I'm not going to... Ah. Be quiet, kitten. Tiger just smacks Senpai over the head. Not forcibly, but it wasn't soft either. Senpai reels back, covering his head. He looks like he's about to cry. It's adorable in a way. But I don't feel pity for his pain after he just tried messing with me. By now I'm used to the temperature, finally getting a chance to enjoy the so-called relaxation by leaning against the bath wall and letting the warmth seep through my body. My aches fade away as the heat massages all of my muscles and the steam comforts what parts of me remain above the water. I close my eyes and face upward. The water from the hot spring feels different, but it feels good. After spending some time in the bath, I can feel sweat starting to drip down my head. If you stay in too long, you'll start to feel dizzy. Oh, alright. Why don't you get a drink of some water? Then after resting a bit, you can come back in. Hmm. I get out of the pool and notice the temperature difference instantly, as a wave of cool air spreads over my body. I quickly grab my robe and a bottle of water. <sighs> it really works. I told you. Senpai has left the, the bath as well. He walks around with a robe on, which is too large for him. The lower hem dragging across the ground behind his feet. Tiger and Leopard are still in the bath. Their eyes are closed, seemingly enjoying the hot spring. Hmm. I wonder how they enjoy that without actually having real bodies. This is probably... This probably isn't the best time to ask about that. I spent a few minutes in the rest area with Senpai before returning to the bath. Considering that a Leopard flinched... Or grimaced when he stuck his arm in the water, I'm sure they can feel it. We continue to enjoy the hot spring until our time is up and the front desk calls. Being a spirit sounds nice. Just enjoy things without having to pay. Ah, so how was this spring? Senpai stretches his whole body while he talks. It was acceptable. What a great way to relax. Hot spring warm. As soon as we all liked it, myself included, I guess it wouldn't be the worst idea to go this go to this again sometime. But there's no way I could afford that myself without Senpai's vouchers. Alright, so you guys want to grab something to eat after all the time in the hot spring? Any of you hungry? I certainly am. Wait a second, didn't you say that gods never get hungry? Well... Who cares? Let's get to it. After talking about what to eat, we head straight to the suckling pig and the wild boar sausages they wanted earlier. For the boar sausages, I buy a flavor called mag magao? which is said to be a type of herb from the mountain. Leopard also asks for some barbecue, but I have to refuse him. We have too many meats already. Instead, I get him some rice served in a bamboo tube. We keep walking along the old street, enjoying the sights and food. Eventually, we make it to the end of the, d the street as dust takes over the sky above. The mountain is cloaked in orange while the sky is dyed lavender by the last lights of the sun. Ah, I'm so full. Yeah, I feel like I ate too much too. You asked for it. I told you not to order so much for those two gluttons. I won't argue with you on being a glutton, but I didn't force Liao to buy me anything. Bore me good. Liao should have more. Uh, yeah, it was good. I couldn't tell its actual flavor because the Magao over because the Magao overpowered it, but it did have a different texture than I'm used to from pork. But the bamboo tube rice was really good, along with the suckling pig. Honestly, I don't regret eating so much. I lean against the rail of the bridge we're on and look into the deep lavender sky. The sun returns past the horizon, and the first few stars begin to com come out and twinkle. Instead of staying at home, I just spent a really nice day outside. I'm glad they're here with me. After all, this won't last long. One day I'm going to need to choose one of them. 
I can't really do that, can I? Eventually I just need to ask him to leave so I can focus on my studies. I'm just thinking about this too much. It's all gonna work out eventually. Hopefully. Senpai, it's getting late. And if you're not wearing enough to stay out at night, shouldn't you- shouldn't we go home now? Hmm? Nah, I'm fine. Well, I guess it's getting too late to do much, though. It'd be better to head home. Alright, let's go. Yep. On our way back through the old street, I bought some hot spring eggs that Tiger requested. I also ended up buying a box of millet mochi for leopard. Hot spring eggs? Is that... Well, it's gone now. <laughs> Is that eggs cooked in a hot spring? I guess that's my lunch for tomorrow, sorted. It feels like leopard and tiger just keep on feeding me these days. I'm gonna get fat. I'm not gonna get fat because of these two, right? I walk into the cafeteria ready for lunch. Suddenly I notice a strange... person? <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit, it's a dragon. Come on, I have to be seeing things. Not again. Is that a lizard man? That's definitely a lizard man. Okay, I know I can see spirits, and I know I should have expected to see more of them at some point. But a lizard man? That is insulting. There's a difference between between lizards and dragons. <laughs> no fantasy novel could prepare me to see one of those in real life. Hey, tiger? You see that? That? Oh, you mean the Yaogwai over there? A Yaogwai? A lizard Yaogwai? Lizard? Hmm. Close enough. You seem to be surprised. What, shouldn't I be surprised? It's a lizard man. I thought Yaogwai was a bear. But then, just might be because of Fallout. <laughs> Am I supposed to see a lizard man at school? Liao, it's normal to see Yaogwai everywhere. They're part of everyday life. Wait, wasn't Leopard Cat considered a Yaogwai too? What is a Yaogwai? I don't remember. Hold on, why have you never told me this before? Normally, Yaogwai won't even get close to us. They avoid guardian tigers like the plague and run like hell when they see one. You should totally ask him about it. I should ask him? Leopard looks troubled. I can tell he doesn't want to go near the Yaogwai. Now I'm a bit nervous. Why would Senpai want me to talk to him? Because Senpai... likes to be nosy. <laughs> Fine, Liao. I really don't think this guy's a bad Yaogwai. Oh, so there's good and bad ya Yaogwai? Well, certainly. Gods and Yaogwai are not entirely different after all. They both originate from the heavens and earth, chi of varying forms. But a god cannot be a god without their worshippers. Consequently, there are more Yaogwai than gods. There are absolutely some bad Yaogwai. You've definitely heard of them. When most Yaogwai are actually neither good or bad. As for this one, I would agree that you should talk to them. It could prove interesting. Interesting? Granted, I'm kinda curious about him too. Alright, let's give this asking thing a shot. Uh, excuse me, hello? He's wearing eyeglasses. Why is everybody so muscular? Is Liao muscular? <laughs> I walked to the lizard man and attempted to greet him, trying my hardest to be welcoming. Well, he's not a dragon, I guess. Which is kind of disappointing. <laughs> I walked to the lizard man and attempted to greet him, trying my hardest to be welcoming. He gives me his attention and then a second look, suddenly his whole body is trembling. <gasps> uh, the, the, hello? I don't... Hmm, I wasn't prepared for other people. H hello He looks behind me with suspicion. I know what he's looking at. Can I sit here, bro? Uh, uh, uh yes, certainly. Alright, Leo, we can sit down. We take the seats in front of the lizard man. Tiger's standing behind me. And I can see leopards stand behind a lizard man. 
He's all the more nervous for it, and I can see why. We've practically got him surrounded at this point. Well, this sucks. There goes my plan to not threaten him. Should I just make him British? Just to distinguish him? Or a nerd. I can do nerd. He's wearing glasses. Everyone who wears glasses is a nerd, right? So, may I help you? Sorry about this. I'm just a little bit curious, so I wanted to ask you. I mean, are you a Yaogwai? I try to keep my voice down. I don't want to embarrass him, or more importantly, myself. I yes and you are? Oh, sorry for not introducing myself already. I'm actually just a student here, but recently I've been able to see Yaogwai like yourself. So I couldn't help but talk with you when I saw you sitting here. My name is Lin Tian... Tian Liao. Nice to meet you. I'm Yan Su Chi. And nice to meet you two, and these two gentlemen are... I'm a Guardian Tiger of Mazu. You may consider me as a guardian of Liao. Liku Lao. I, I see. As you know, I'm a Yao Guai. I don't believe any human name is... I don't believe my human name is important. My pseudonym is Randolph. I'm an artist. An artist? Right. I came here today to visit a professor of history at this college. So you're a Yaogwai artist who's come to visit a professor at my college, okay? It, yes. Does it seem strange? It does? No, uh, I didn't mean that. It, it was rude of me to come up and disturb you like this. I'm so sorry. I saw that what I said had made him visibly nervous, so I tried to apologize as best I can. I've just got to think about how this would be for him. We just showed up all of a sudden, surrounded him like we're going to beat the shit out of him, and then ask him whether he's a Yao Guai. It's pretty forward of us. It's okay. Please don't mind. I like talking with people. So, why did you choose to become an artist? Seems like that's special for a Yao Guai. I never thought about meeting a medium with guardian tigers in a college either. And the gentleman behind me... I'm not sure who he is, but I can feel that he's a very powerful spirit. It might be time for introductions, no? Uh, oh, of course. My family is a Jitong family. We have served guardian tigers for generations. The man behind me is a guardian tiger who's come with me to, to Taipei all the way from my hometown. Or, I should say, he came along with a statue I brought to Taipei. The other guy behind you is the one who opened my eyes to all of this. He's a spirit from the Rukai tribe, who wanted my help, so he gave me this ability. Since then, I've been able to see all these gods and I guess Yaogwai like yourself. Finally, this is my senpai. He's a leopard cat guardian tiger who also wants my help to rejuvenate his temple in Miao Li. A leopard cat guardian tiger? You would have had to be a Yaogwai once, yes? Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to escape from my Fude Gong. Terrible, huh? Does it seem to have been such a bad thing if you've become an orthodox god out of it? Ugh, I'm never fast enough to grab the stupid information. However, you just mentioned something about rejuvenating the temple, so I guess your god of your god of soil is losing his power. That may explain why you still smell like a Yaogwai. I can't feel much spiritual power from you at all. I am worried about it, but Liao isn't helping me. Help? Isn't he just a college student? I briefly explained to Randolph why all three of them want my help specifically. So that's it. I'm not saying that I don't want to help him, but I can't drop school just for that. I'm sorry that we just dumped <laughs> all of my problems that have occurred these past few days on you all of a sudden. And to be honest, I'm not interested in becoming a priest. I'm a member of the dance club here, and I want to pursue a career where I can use my talent. But these three kind of put a spanner in the works. It's hard enough as it is to make a living by dancing, and I have to keep up on school at the, at the moment. It's not possible for me to just get up and have a two-year break. Honestly, it's really been stressing me out. 
I could see why you're so troubled. However, do you really know the details about the requests? Details? I mean, sure, I asked them. But how much could there be to it? Priest, Oracle, Jatong, whatever. They're all people who represent the wills of gods in society. So I can communicate with spirits, sure, that's awesome. But being the go-to guy for, hey, I want to talk to the gods isn't awesome after a while. Even if I get to have all these cute guys living with me, I don't want to have a life steeped in the history of my ancestors. So, have you considered any alternative ways? Alternative ways? You're still at school, so you don't have time, however, it doesn't mean that you can't help them at all. Hmm, maybe, but how? I believe you'll find a way. I doubt they would want to bother you after you solve their problems. Well said. Hurry up and drive them away so you can come back home, Liao. It's not that easy. You can just give up and leave me halfway. You can't just leave me halfway. Liao goes to Wutai. See, it just ends up like this. It may have been too optimistic. It seems this is not something I can judge. I do apologize for my irresponsible words. No, no. Please don't. Talking to you is helping me think and I appreciate it. Someone who isn't biased. <laughs> it may be hard, but there's got to be some way out. Even if there isn't, I have to try anyway. I need to try and work this out. Thanks. I'm surprised to talk to such a polite Yao Guai like you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... It's alright, I do treat myself as a special case. So, are there other Yao Guai like you living, living amongst humans? Actually, there are many of them. Some of them good, some of them bad. Like people. Like regular-ass people. After all, isn't the same thing true with humans, see? <laughs> but frankly speaking, sometimes I find other Yaogwai are annoying. Are Yaogwai aggressive to each other? Well, Yaogwai from the same species are usually fine, but typically we don't like Yaogwai from other species. It's sort of like real life, once again. <laughs> Such as with normal animals. <laughs> Most of us have a strong sense of territory, but it's pretty common for Yagwai to mingle within cities. Smarter Yagwai are the ones who have learnt to keep their business to themselves. But the ones with ambition are the ones who cause trouble. They're mostly taken care of by the gods and other more powerful Yagwai. They're taken care of? So does that mean most Yagwai in the city are good? It depends on your perspective. To me, they just don't want any trouble. Things don't always go that Go that easy, of course. Sometimes new ones are born, other times they might just come here to cause trouble. It's all maintained on a shifting balance. But if something big happens, it's usually because of the temples. I guess that's why some people still hold on to these traditional beliefs. People go to the temples now for blessings of fortune, better luck, or just to pass their next exam. I wonder if it's because of Yao Guai we seek these things in life, or maybe it's just because of them we have these problems in the first place. Besides, I have a lot of questions I want to ask Randolph, but I don't know where to start. So, why did you choose to become an artist? You seem pretty unique for a Yagwai. It's just a coincidence. I was helping a friend. At the time he needed an artist, I filled the bill. It has been too long since then, and the mask of the artist has become my own face. Was this friend of yours a Yagwai as well? Yes. So you joined human society to help that friend? What happened to your old life? I was living amongst humans back then, too. The energy I need is special, and I can get more by getting close to humans, if you know what I mean. You could say there, there were mutual benefits between us. Mutual benefits? What kind of benefits? Eyebrows raise. By living in a human community, it's easier for me to get emotions directly. After all, I live by consuming the emotions of people. That's an interesting thing for what... You appear to be a uh, water-based lizard. Ah, uh, please don't worry. I am too full now to consider eating yours. Emotions? I mean, sure, you can get a lot in the city, but isn't that more dangerous for you? I worried about it at the very beginning. However, other Yao Guai won't bother you if you just live like a human. Huh. <laughs> of course, living like a human isn't easy. I see. So, mind if I ask how you actually eat emotions? Fan mail. What? 
Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Fan mail. Strong emotions are attached to the letters of my readers. After all, for someone to write to you, they must either adore or despise you very much. You know, some people intimidate others by mailing knives. Seriously? Huh. Actually, I've never seen one. But I do receive a lot of messages. It's a smart way for me to live in the human community. Or just eat the paper. <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. Fan mail. Unbelievable, so I guess your life is pretty good. Like I said, it's not easy. No one sends mail to an unknown artist and you're you forgot and you're forgotten quickly if you don't put out work consistently. I also have to take care of this possessed body, which means I still need food and a place to live. Honestly, living is pretty hard when you have a have to maintain your human life and Yaogwai life simultaneously. So you still need to work for money? A lot. You don't sound like a Yaogwai at all. Most Yaogwai don't manage to make it in the city. This troubled world usually gets the better of them. Gets worse as modern times progress. <laughs> Especially with how expensive it is to even live here, life is hard. It's hard to imagine that even Yagwai have to work hard for a salary. Well, I'm not good at making money any other way. Also, I'm possessing a body, of course I have to work. <laughs> Some Yagwai use their powers in this regard, but those who don't know the rules are to be taken out by others, or gods for that matter. So, I make a living by drawing, even if it isn't the best job. Artists aren't paid much. Question mark. My work is serialized, so it's not that bad. However, my salary depends on the popularity of the magazine, which isn't the best. I do freelancing as well, but that's very... unstable. It's hard to make a fixed wage. Not all of my clients are that great either. They don't really care how much they work me. Regardless, I can't just give up on my clients. I have my reputation to maintain. Not to mention that I never know when I'll get ba get work to begin with. I never thought that a Yaogwai would have so much to complain about. <laughs> huh. Indeed. Being an artist isn't easy. But what what job is? If I can't make it work, I can't I can just go back to my Yaogwai life. Not everyone has that escape. I have a fallback plan. I could simply disappear. <laughs> Though you leave behind the body you've possessed, which sucks for them. But I decided to take on the will of the person I possessed. I'm not just about to give up on that. Their will? Does that mean his will was to become an artist? Yes, mostly. It's not a big secret. Well, really, it started a long time ago when... I listen to Randolph's stories. Mostly it's about his life as an artist, his struggles, his success and failures. But nestled in there are tales and rumors from the Yaogwai world. You never think about it, but a Yaogwai's artist view on life is really captivating, and what feels like moments like moments the time has flown by. Randolph is startled when a stray glance leads him to the time displayed on a nearby television. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's time for my appointment. I must leave you now. Uh, alright. I'm sorry that I've taken way too much of your time, but thank you for speaking to me. It's okay. It's a rare- it was a rare opportunity to be able to converse with someone who can see and understand us, Yao Guai. So hopefully we can meet again. Agreed. Goodbye for now. See you. <laughs> Attempting a nerdy voice for some uh, character design that does not look as such. It's just like the glasses and that's it. You remove the glasses and he's like somebody else entirely. As we watch Randolph leave, Senpai is already back on his phone. Hey Liao, we just skipped a lecture, you know. What? Shocked, I take a quick look at the time. We were talking for ages. Not only has our lunch break ended, but our lecture is almost over as well. Eh, it's fine. That class doesn't mark the role anyways. Hey, that's not the point. You may not care about lectures, but don't lump me in with you. But he's right. It doesn't really matter. What else can I do? We decide to wait it out till our next class as I sit there in the cafeteria with Randolph's stories and advice still in my mind. Since speaking with Randolph, I've been thinking about what he said, about trying to find some other solution with the cats. 
I'm worried that if I just went and asked them about it, they'll just think I actually intend to help them from then and there, and mean to get their hopes up. But if I just keep ignoring it, wouldn't they end up pressuring me about it anyway? I guess I've got no choice but to talk, talk to each of them and try to understand everything. I just have to think about how to time it. Why don't you just do, like, a group discussion? Like, okay, guys, I can't help every one of you, but I know that you guys need help, so let's brainstorm. <laughs> I don't want to help you, to be honest. Sounds like a snooze fest. It'd be easy to talk to Tiger privately, at least, since we're in the bookstore. Senpai's in class and Leopard can't read anyway, so he'll be off gallivanting somewhere. Tiger loves this place so much, he'd probably live here if he could. Leo. Leo, not reading anything today? His voice sounds absent as he focuses on skimming the textbooks before him, without looking up. It's as if he doesn't really care about how I would answer. Rude. Um, well, I just have something on my mind. A vague answer leaves me as I stumble my thoughts. Not that he seems too interested in listening. This one. Intriguing. That one. Oh. This must be new, but it doesn't look very decent. I've definitely never seen anyone this deeply invested in the quality of textbooks before. He'd make a good school teacher at the very least. But back to the point. Um, Tiger, you know... Hmm? Oh, right. Don't worry. I don't intend to buy any of them. They are far too expensive. While it's true they contain a lot of information, they simply use too many glossy photograph pages. It just serves to drive up printing costs, quite unnecessary. Even if they were two dollars, there's no way I could buy enough to keep you satisfied. Ha ha ha. Very true. I also think there must be a better way to acquire all this information. Other than reading books? Uh, hmm. What about the internet? The internet? Would that contain information as detailed as these books? I mean... Kinda. You have to do a lot of cross-referencing just to make sure you have the proper information. But I mean, it'd be the same with books. But the internet probably has a lot more not correct information that you could find. Well, you probably won't find everything as neatly organized, but at least using the internet is free. As far as your wallet is concerned, it's significantly better not... not... Wait, better to not spend money. Talking about the internet, some of these books do discuss something called forums. Tiger seems to be lost in thought, pondering to himself. Wait, I still have to talk to him. Hey, Tiger? Hmm? What is it? He's so engrossed in his book, he doesn't even look up. Come on, give me some attention already. I mean, why did you choose the place that you know he's not going to pay attention to you? Like, he, of course he's going to want to look at all of this rather than talk to you. It's just that I wanted to ask... If I don't go home, is there any other way I can help you? Well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Finally, I've got his attention. Help me. What would I need help with? Are you trying to discuss becoming the Jatong of our temple? Yes. Is there any way that I don't have to go home and become a Jatong? Your power to channel spirits is quite uncommon, something rare and special of your own. It would be a terrible shame not to use it. I am certain that both your family and the Holy Mother herself would be delighted to see, to see you choose that path. But I am aware of your wishes to stay in Taipei. You needn't make any decisions now. There are plenty of s semesters left until your graduation, after all. You know, you could just make this, like, a backup thing, you know? Like, the dancing thing doesn't go how you want it, so... I know, but what if I really do stay in Taipei and never go back home? That would be a shame. And that means that the only way you'll be happy is if I go home. I know you don't want to go back, Liao. If it does come to that, I'll support you. But truly, it would seem like a waste. A waste of something that makes you special. I can foresee how your parents would react if they knew. The other Guardian Tiger surely would wish the same for you, Liao. 
If you did choose to stay in Taipei, I suppose you could always open a small temple. But if that's not what you wish, then there's nothing me or anyone else can do about it. So that's how it is. It's as I said earlier. There's no need to rush. You have plenty of time to think this over. Just don't go promising your life away to some kitten and there won't be a problem. Yeah, I'll think about it. That's good. For a while, an uneasy silence dwelled over us, so I decided to try and change the subject. What kind of things would you like to look up? On the internet, that is. Do you want to have a look together when we get back? Really? I think that brought up his mood a bit. Okay, so see these books here. I wish to look up this topic and this one, most likely that one too. Liao, should you not be using your phone to write these down? Oh, he's caught on to people using phones to keep notes now. These books look pretty technical. How the heck does he make sense of all this? In short, I end up spending the rest of the night looking up stuff for him on the internet. I wanted to play games tonight too. I spend the next few days trying to get some alone time with Leopard to speak with him, which is easier said than done. You can't exactly talk to him during class, and afterwards Tiger always joins us. But dance practice is going to be my best chance. Leopard always comes to dance practice. Tiger's always off to the side brooding, and Senpai's usually busy with the other senior students. Today I make sure to go to a corner away from Senpai and Tiger to practice. Leopard followed me, so this should be as good of a time as any. As much as it's not boring to watch Leopard dance. Hey Leopard, I've been meaning to ask you. I get out my words between breaks in the routine I was working on. A while ago you told me that you wanted for me to go to Wutai to be an oracle, but what would you do if I didn't do that? Wait. Wait until when? Wait until Liao does go. And if I never do? Hmm. You say that your tribe needs an oracle, but what if I don't go to Wutai? Is there any other way to help you? Help, not be an oracle? Like, finding some way I don't need to be there physically? The internet's pretty handy these days. People could just send questions and I could answer back from home. Not be an oracle, I don't know. But, need Liao. See me. Speak. Others. I get that's how an oracle works and all, but I don't know what kinds of problems you need me to solve. Do I need to do something, or can I just let people know what's going on? I just don't really want to leave Taipei. Many problems. Urgent. All need solving. But what can I do for you from here? There has to be something. I don't know. Oracle. Busy. Must speak with many people. What about using the internet or speaking over the phone? I don't know what that is. Not sure. I think. No. Hmm. Sure there's a bunch of things that you absolutely need to discuss in person, but not everything's like that. And Leopard, he's determined to get something across to his tribe. But what's also important here is that they actually trust me as an oracle. Being Han Chinese makes being trusted by his aboriginal tribe hard enough as it is. Being a voice on the phone wouldn't help one bit. Liao! Liao, you tired? Wanna rest? Let's take a break! Huh? Oh, oh, I'm fine. What's he on about? I'm already taking a break. You mind if I scooch in here? You and... Kulao seem to have... seem to be having heaps of fun all by yourself, and I'm getting jealous. I want to be a part of it, too. No, not at all. In fact, it's a pretty serious con discussion. Am I going to Wutai? Yeah, that. Would it be okay for me to join you guys? Is that even a good idea? Aren't you two basically opponents over me? I wouldn't say that. If you don't go home, you can just help me restore the temple and then go to Wutai. Easy peasy. I know Kulao would want you to go there ASAP, but all that's still up for discussion, right? So for now, we're friends. Senpai grabs Leopard's paw in his, in his to emphasize his point. Leopard doesn't seem to object to the move, but his face is always the same, so I can't really tell either way. Eh, uh, alright. But Senpai, what's with you calling him Kulao? His name is Lee Kulao. Lee isn't his family name or anything, that's just how the Rukai language works. H hey, I know that. I just figured since we're all friends... 
we call our friends by first names all the time. Cool, that would sound nice. Isn't that a bit disrespectful? I'm kind of worried that Leopard would take offense to Senpai's new nickname for him. But his expression never changes. Oh, I have a question. Um, With Chinese, do you always have to say the family name and the first name? Like, you never just say the first name. You always have to say it, like, together and when you're talking to someone. Because I noticed in Chinese novels, whenever... Whenever they talk about the character, it's always the family name and the first name. It's never, like, in uh, English stuff where they, they can just put the first name without the family name. I'm kind of worried that Leopard would take offense to Senpai's new nickname for him, but his expression never changes. I don't really know what to make of it, but at least... But at least it doesn't seem to disapprove. So now Kulao and I are friends. It seems like an overly one-sided friendship at the very least. Well then, you know Senpai, it's pretty rude to cut into other people's conversations. Oh, okay then. I'll just check in with Kulao later. See ya! And there he goes. A classic senpai move. Anyway, I guess we should probably continue talking about this later then. Yes. Leopard takes a while to respond. I guess he's got his mind on something else. I wonder what. I can never tell with him. After that day, I keep on trying to talk one-on-one -on -one with Senpai again and again, but the opportunity never comes up. I didn't expect him to be such a hard cat to catch. Tiger and Leopard are always with me during class. Prying Senpai away from his fan club is near impossible during dance practice. It's not any better at home at all. With all three of them there, I can't just go have privacy with one of them. We're gonna need to have a bathroom meeting, so come in with me. We need to talk. But today, I've finally come up with a scheme that should work. It basically boils down to distracting Tiger and Leopard with all the food at the cafeteria while I sneak in a few questions with Senpai. I know it won't give me much time, but it's better than nothing. You know, Senpai. Hmm? He was eating pork rib noodles. The school cafeteria is famous for having the best fried ribs around, and they're even better when dripped in rich, soupy broth. But now's not the time to show my college. You know, about what you want, and uh, about going with you to Mao Li to help restore your temple? Hmm? So, Liao, you decide to come? I haven't. Please don't jump to conclusions and let me finish speaking. Fine. Liao, so what is it you wanted, you wanted to ask? Well, say I wanted to stay here in Taipei. Is there any way I can still help you? Well, it doesn't work like that. There are temple ceremonies that need to be performed. How would you encourage people to come worship if you aren't even there? Like passing along spiritual messages? Before that, we still need to clean the place up, right? What about if I came over on weekends and help out with that? Well, you'd need to be the priest. It's more complicated than just passing along messages, you know? It may sound weird, but I think you should be all down to earth and stuff when it comes to this. Your reasoning isn't very convincing, senpai. What? Rude. How about showing some respect for your senpai? I don't respect you. Honestly. Well, maybe you should work on being more respectable first. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, there's a little kitten arguing with Leo. We weren't arguing. I'm best friends with Leo, isn't that right? Eh. Really? Whatever you believe, you may do what you wish, but then you'll be seeing yourself back to Mao Li. You're so long-winded, old man. If you don't like it, how about you leave right now? How could I? The old man is just the best. Must you call me old man? Guardian Tiger, old man. Not both of you. And that's how this conversation ended in an argument. That night, I was browsing through some tech forums with Tiger. Okay, keep scrolling down. Following his orders, I scroll down the page, his eyes peering over my shoulder. Hmm. 
So that's how it is. Now previous page. I click to go back a page. Yes, that one. Please open it. I click on the article he's pointing at. Hmm. What? Can he do this himself? I recall that Leopard was able to pick up a can of coffee, so Tiger can figure out how to use the computer by himself. <sighs> oh, sorry, Leo. You must be getting tired. A little bit. I didn't want to complain, but it's kind of exhausting to sit around and wait for him to read each page, then move on to the next one and the next one. I don't even know what any of this stuff means. If only he didn't need my hands to work the computer for him. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm pretty bored just sitting here watching you read. Hmm. Why not ask Senpai to help you use the mouse? Say what? Why would I help that old man? He's the one always pushing me to leave. I'd rather not have the help of that little kitten. So we're in agreement on that. But this is no fun for me. Even if it's no fun, there's no way I'm helping my enemy. Even if it was for your sake, Leo, I still wouldn't put my trust in that kitten. They really do have it out for each other, don't they? Should I do something? Let's find a way to make them work together, because one, they are living in the same damn apartment, and two, I am sick and tired of scrolling through articles. Hey, how about we take this for from a different angle? Senpai, if you and Tiger can get used to helping each other out on the computer, then maybe he'd stop asking you to leave. No, oh, but what if he doesn't? Tiger, if I refuse to help, you won't have any other option but working, but to work with Senpai. Not at all. If Liao refuses to help me, then I would just stop using the computer. Wouldn't that be a shame? It's only helping click the mouse. It's not like you need to be friends. He just has to do what you say. Still, I refuse. Huh? Who could it be at this time? Take out my phone. Oh, call from home. This is totally going to be bad news, isn't it? Let me get this. Well, at least they stop bickering while I'm on the phone. Hello, Dad? Leo, it's me. <gasps> Big bro? Yeah, Leo! Surprised to hear, hear me or something? I never call you. Hey, Dad's the one who ever calls me, so yeah, it's surprising to hear you, bro. You know, I'm not one for phone calls. Dad was just talking to me about you seeing Guardian Tigers. There's no way I would pass up asking you about that. Huh? No, no I haven't. <laughs> I, ne I never... What are you talking about? Did I lie to Dad? I feel like I lied to Dad, or at least I tried to avoid the question in some way. Uh... To make an excuse. Now, I haven't seen any. I just heard that our family, family Jatongs can see them. Oh? Who said so? I don't really remember. I think it was something I saw on the internet. Something about our family's guardian tigers being special. And that Jatongs can see them. So is it real? What would I do if I want to see one? Oh yeah, I've heard stories like that. Grandpa would tell them when I was little, but I can't see them, so you probably can't either. Dad told me that we should never share those stories, but I think it would be kind of cool to see one. Hmm, well... He did take a small guardian tiger statue to Taipei, after all. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll see him. Ha <laughs> ha. Probably not. But it would be pretty cool if you could, though, wouldn't you agree? Anyway, after your last talk with Dad, he said very strictly not to go around talking about those kinds of things. He was pretty serious about it, so I figured something might have happened. Turned out it was nothing, though, so it's all good. Take care of your statue, and don't forget to worship from time to time. Give them some rice. I know. <laughs> I can tell that you haven't been praying. Since you took it with you, at least pay it some attention. Like, give it a little pats, maybe a little kiss goodnight. 
Yeah, I know. I'll make sure to get some things together for worship tomorrow. In the corner of my eye, I can see Guardian Tiger shooting a fierce glare at me. Okay then, as long as you know, I won't bother you about it. Anyway, I need to head off. Talk to you again, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. See you later, bro. Also, your stash under your bed? You really should have hid it better. I found it in a second. D <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Don't worry, I'll help you hide it. Trust me, even Dad used to hide stuff under his bed. Maybe I'll even tell you where I hide- <laughs> where I stash that later. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. Alright, bye. My big brother hangs up the phone. So, he found some of the books I brought home. I mean, that's not a big deal, right? My bookshelf in Taipei is filled to the brim. If I didn't send some home, how would I be able to buy more? Leah, what are you so upset about? Nothing much. It's just about those comics. Oh, and what about my offerings? What? Are you saying I don't feed you enough? Liao, you did say worship, correct? They are two different things. Um, so how about getting a family bucket for dinner then? Yes. Yeah, chicken again. I don't want that. What's wrong with chicken? It's always chicken. Every day. A leopard cat like me can't tolerate the same thing every day, even if it's moist, delicious chicken. Picky kitten. If you don't want any, feel free to not eat it. The old man's bullying me again! Keep it down, guys. I'm calling to order some now. Let's stop it here. For now, and I'm probably gonna continue directly after. But I need a break. A very short break. I knew that we were going to be meeting, like, other spirits. But I wasn't expecting it to be before we've actually... Before we've actually gone onto a route. Everybody's muscular. I'm pretty sure that the kitten is muscular in a way. Like they said... How do you say it? Lithe? I never actually know how to say it, and I don't feel like looking it up right now. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have a good day and a good night. Bye bye <laughs>